It's good to be here, Tish. Uh, yeah, we got a lot of questions about why we ended it as a, a rescuing thing instead of the tragedy that originally was written. But after much thinking and rehearsing and opinions going back and forth with us, we decided to give it the happy ending that we did because my view was the fact that Faustus was very repentant in the end. As he mentioned in his own dialogue there, the thief in the cross type of repentance, but yet it was repentance. And it was, he was in great grief of soul. So we we did it that way, and everyone liked it better that way, because everyone had been very upset with the darkness that the other ending had. The man repented, and he should have been spared. Now, that doesn't mean that he couldn't have been destroyed, but he didn't go to hell. Well, in your film, in your play and film, it just, it ended with the the angel standing by him and the devil's backed off and kind of left us to wonder if, if he continued to live or, or die. Well, that was meant to be that way. It was to probe people's own thoughts on the matter. We ended with the angel standing between him and the devils, and and then the the angel puts his arm around him, and the harp gives those cards there, and we just end abruptly like that. My own. <laughs> The feeling about it was that, yeah, he died, but he went to heaven. Oh, yes, well, that's so encouraging. I guess he he wouldn't receive many rewards in heaven, having lived such a long life. No, I guess not, but he was what they call saved as by fire, I guess. Anyway, that's the way we chose to do it because there's already been presentations of it the other way.